Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to one of the new video for the Dataverse concept. In this episode, we will talk about virtual table in Dataverse. So first, let's get started and talk about what do we mean by virtual table. A virtual table is a custom table in Microsoft Dataverse that has column containing data from external data sources. Now, what do we mean by external data sources over here? So let's say for an example, here I have SQL Server database and here I have one of the student table over here. Now I want to connect my student table with Dataverse. So at that time I can create a virtual table for student which is directly connected with the SQL Server. You don't need to load this data into Dataverse. It is directly connected to your external data sources. So let's get started and talk about how we can create the virtual table in Dataverse. So first of all, let me show you the end outcome. So here we have student table and I have couple of records over here. Now what we will do is we will create one Dataverse virtual table with the same name student and it is directly connected with the SQL server. So now let's get started with the virtual table creation process. So first of all, let me open up my browser window and first go to the connection section and let's establish the connection for the virtual table. Click on new connection and over here search for the SQL server. Over here select your authentication. I am selecting here SQL server authentication and let's provide the server name and database name. After that you just need to provide username and password of your SQL server database. Once you click on create the new connection will be created for you. Over here you can see that this is one of the connection I already created and it is showing like this. After that second step is you need to create connection reference in the solution. So just go to the solution and create a new solution for your application or if you already have any existing solution just go there and add the connection reference over there. So in my case I already created one solution virtual table POC. So I'm going to utilize that thing over here. Then click on new, click on more and over here there is an option connection reference. So let's create a new connection reference over here. Over here you can provide any connection reference name. So let's say I'm just providing here the name SQL virtual table one because I already created one of and uh, you can provide some description over here you need to select the connector so in our case uh, the connector is SQL server so let's select that and then we need to provide the connection so over here I have different connection but one of the connection which I created is power platform uh, dev and this is the database uh, server connection I did so I'm just selecting this connection which we just created in the previous step and click on create so that will create new connection reference for you. So let it to be created and that connection reference will be available over here inside the solution. Now as a next step what we need to do is we need to click on the setting here and from here we need to click on the advanced setting. Then from settings we need to click on administration. Over here just click on virtual entity data sources and then you need to click on new to add the data source. So let's click on new. This will take some time. Now in the general section we need to provide the name of the virtual connector. So let's say I'm just providing here SQL virtual connector one and uh, you just need to select the connection reference that you created. So we have created a connection reference SQL virtual table so this is the name of our connection reference so let's just search for that so you can see here i found sql virtual table one this is the connection reference that we just created and let's click on add from here so i'm just clicking on add and we are almost done and after that you simply need to click on save and close again go here and let's see this is the one which we just created. So what happened here is after we configuring our data provider, we just need to go here and go to our Dataverse. 
go to the table section and over here what happen here is it will create entity catalog for the data provider that we created so let's wait for a couple of minutes because this is taking some time in order to appear it but i already created one for sql virtual table over here so for that it is showing me all the stuff over here uh, it is showing as entity catalog for SQL virtual table, but let's wait for a couple of minutes. So the new one that we just created as a data provider will appear soon over here into our dataverse. And here we are. You can see that entity catalog for SQL virtual table one created successfully. Now let's say for an example from that database, I need student table as a virtual table. So I need to select this. And after that, I need to select the student table from here. So it will show you all the virtual entity name over here. So first of all, let me show you the database over here. So I have Power Platform Dev database and there is a student table and we have three records inside that. And now I need this student table over here into my dataverse. So let's wait for a couple of minutes because it will take some time to appear all the table names over here. So let's wait for a few minutes and we can see that student name is appearing over here. So select the student table and click on edit using form. So let's say we want to create student table as virtual table. So now create or refresh we need to select as yes. Then we need to provide the primary key, which is our ID column from the database table and primary field of the virtual entity, which should be string data type. So let's provide student name over here and let's click on save and close. So once you do this activity, the new table with student will be created. So let's wait for a few minutes over here. I'm just going back, going to the table section. So after waiting for some time, we can see the custom entity student table over here. And now if we see the records over here, let's see how many record does it shows. I'm clicking on edit. Let me just add other column as well. Phone number, subject and ID column. So we can see this much of data. Now let's say for an example, if I am adding any new row over here, it will automatically sync with the uh, original data source. So let's say for an example, I just want to add one more row over here. So I'm just adding new row and let's say I'm providing student name as Anisha and phone number as 8585 and subject as SS. And let's say over here, the phone number was not there. So I'm just updating the phone number and let's see in the server side what response does it stored so i'm just going here somewhere and i'm trying to open my sql server now and let me just hit refresh over here so let's see so you can see that the new row anisha is created in the actual source as well as this existing record is also being updated now it is directly connected with the data source. So what happened here is any changes that you are making over here, it is directly reflected to your data source and at data source level, if any change happened, it directly appears over here. So this is how the virtual table concept will look like. So if I summarize everything, what we did so far to create the virtual table. So first, what we as a part of first step, we created connection for SQL server. As a second part, we need to create a solution and inside solution, we need to create the connection reference. As a third part, we created the data provider into the admin center. And in the fourth part, we just used uh, the connection that is created for our um, for our provider and we just configure the refresh and after that this table is appearing over here for us to use. So this is how the overall virtual table concept will look like. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for any training or any paid consultation, the website link is available here. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like Instagram, Twitter. All the links are available on the channel cover right page. With this, 
This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.